some photos out here. Yeah. Here I will show you how to configure the spring difference injection in a Java class. So the fundamental functionality provided by the spring container is dependency injection. So spring provides a lightweight container for this and that is a spring core container for the dependency injection. So previously known as spring version of control. The main duty is the spring is responsible for creating the creating the object and giving to you. It's like it's totally blocking you to use new operator on a class. That means you cannot you're not calling a constructor here. So let's see an example. I'll create a project, Java project, and we'll name it a spring. And I'll add some spring Java files to get the framework. So let me add all these jar files. You need spring.jar, log4j, dom4j, common logins, and antlr.jar. Okay. Let me add this to this application. The first step, I'll create a class. Let me say it's a user class. So I will create a dependency injection with of this class with a spring framework. So let me create a method here, a public method. And let now let's create a main class. Import the two classes so how so I can read the configuration files. So let me take so application context class will read the configuration file using through class path XML context and we need to pass the spring XML here. Now let's create the XML file. same file name should be passed here so that we have spring XML file and for the spring XML file I'll copy paste this okay now which class I'm going to ask the spring framework to get object so this is the user Java class and this is the ID so this is the ID I'm going to get here user going to call the method on this object create user and under create user I put system out of internal I say user create now it's the main program I'm just creating I'm just reading the XML file the spring configuration file and on that I get try to get the bean after reading the XML file I'll identify the objects and try to get the get get bean method on that and pass the 
ID. ID is nothing but the bean ID of that class B. So that thing set. Now we need to run this program. And that's how the method is invoked. Here we have not invoked any operator for this user class from the main. The dependency is through spring. There is no constructed dependency. There is only spring dependency. That's the injection we have used. Thank you. Thank you for listening to the tutorial.